Hello, athletes. Hello, parents. Again, my name is Michelle Fumagali. I'm a registered dietitian here to give you some nutrition tips through this exciting weekend. Um, so today we're going to be talking about what to have before training and games leading up to it. This is one of the biggest questions that I receive from players and parents. Again, it's even more important what we're eating throughout the day, days leading up and what we're drinking, but right before it can also give us some more energy. So let's dive into it. So we have three or let's say four goals going into pre-training or, th or the game. We want to number one, avoid GI distress because we don't want our stomach to be upset when we get on the field. We also want to top off muscle energy stores, also glycogen. And we're doing that through adding in carbohydrates. We want to maximize hydration with fluids and soda or electrolytes. We had talked about putting electrolyte powders into our water, making sure we're drinking water throughout the day, things like that. And then lastly, we want to make sure we're eating enough to prevent feelings of hunger because we don't want to be really hungry going onto the field too. So we talked about two days ago, building that pre-game meal, but then there's three-ish hours between when we eat and when we have a game or training. So what can we have in between that? We also talked about snacks yesterday. So that's exactly what we want. We want to have more snacks leading up to it, but the snacks are going to change the closer we get to that training or game. And what's going to happen, we're going to decrease three things when we, the closer we get to training and games. Number one, we're going to decrease fat because fat is, is hard to digest and that's gonna give us GI, um, GI upset. We're gonna also decrease the food volume because again, that could give us GI upset. We don't wanna have a ton of food before we step on the field. And then number three, we also wanna decrease fiber because fiber is harder to break down and digest as well. So, okay, Michelle, you're telling me these things. What should I have before? So 60 to 90 minutes before we can have carbohydrate rich with less fiber and fat um, and more snacks first meals, right? Plus we want that hydration. So some things could be salty crackers, maybe half of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We could do a bar. We could do a smaller version of oatmeal. We could have some fruit. So we're, we're doing some, some snacks and they could be a little bigger snacks. And then let's say 15 to 30 minutes before the simple carbs are exactly what we want. I love applesauce, sauce, excuse me, applesauce pouches. I love some fruit. You could do a carb rich granola bar. You could do some dates. You could do gummy bears. You could do a half a Nutri-Grain bar or a fig bar. So you could do also, of course, carbohydrate drinks like um, Gatorade with electrolytes in it, something like that as well. So again, the closer you get, the less food, the less fat, and the less fiber, and the more simple foods, simple carbs, simple sugars, because you're going to use those right away for energy. Tomorrow, we are going to go over what to have post game or post training. But remember, all this information is in my course for sports nutrition for soccer players, and you can find that information. Um, and if any other questions, I will see you guys tomorrow.